get like a lot of remarks on my appearance, you know, the long hair, beard, Doc Martin, sickly pale skin. I look like the ghost of a hipster. <laughs> I look like I haunt Camden Market. <laughs> I'm really pale, dude. It can be a bad look at times. Like, I filmed a gig I did once where I was clean shaven. Now, I'm 19, but when I shave, I look about seven. And between that and my really pale skin, it looked like I picked an open mic night in Kentish Town as my make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> The other thing about skin that's pale, though, is that like, it will never tan. Like, whenever it's exposed to sun, it will just burn. I will never be beach body ready. The only beach my body is ready for is like 1940 Dunkirk. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really have an opening, so I just thought I'd do a bit of a roast of myself, which is ironic, because if I literally roast of myself, I might be less fucking pale. <laughs> I go to uni in uh, Queen Mary in the East End. Woo! Now, I love the East End, but I feel like there's some misconceptions around it. I think people think because of the Olympics, the East End is now really rich. But that's not the case. Like, parts of the East End are still really poor. Parts of the East End are so poor that the middle class students from Chelsea considering taking their gap years there. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I go to uni in Mile End, which is the sort of place where people think hummus is the name of a terrorist organization. <laughs> <laughs> There are a lot of posh people in the uni, though, and I'm like, I'm meeting a lot more posh people, and it's getting me thinking about the class divide in Britain. And I feel like the 1% don't even, like, try to present themselves as humans anymore. Like, Boris Johnson sort of looks like he's had a stroke on both sides of his face. <laughs> then you have, like, Jacob Rees-Mogg, who's, like, the summoned spirit of a Victorian sex offender. <laughs> I feel sorry for Michael Gove, though, because Michael Gove has like the face of an eight-year-old, which is not a good look in the Tory party. His life must have been one long attempt to stop other Tory MPs from trying to molest him. <laughs>